hello friend my channel i hope you all are happy and healthy so in this video i will be showing you the wavy issue i am facing after hair transplant so previously my hair were kind of straight but after hair transplant they have become very wavy and in this video i'll show you what issues i am facing with the hair styling so let's start the video 4 a.m in the morning i'm just getting ready for the office so you can see that this is the hair condition at the moment and this side is fine but this side is messed up it's always standing like this this is how it looks like so the issue with my hair combing after hair transplant is that because this is always standing this this I cannot get down this doesn't set that's the wrong direction of hair transplant so this side I told you somebody messed up and this side is still so this side you see the direction is still fine but this side direction is still messed up this. so that's why I don't um, partition the hair that's why I comb without partition and it's like this so you see this one is always standing so this is how I am combing my hair you see here it's the density issue here you see because of the light it's the density issue if I do like this uh, it looks fine but this this is always standing so that's the wrong direction here transplant issue And that's why most of the time my hair is not set. This is the lunar area. And this is side. And this is front. And this is side. So this is this is it is still there but it's only visible from a certain angle if I comb my hair like this you see the volume is there but the density is not the volume of my hair is okay but the density is like here it's messed up like here it's messed up if I show you like this it looks fine because my hair are grey it looks fine but if you see the density is messed up that's why I always suggest to choose a very good hair transplant cleaning which can give you result what you want. I want the density here and coverage here. I didn't get transplant here, I didn't get density here. So even though the hair transplant is okay, but it's not what I was asking doctor or what the doctor promised. So I think I need to get a hair cut. So this is dense density issue. The hair is there if you see. The hair are there, but it's the density, it's the light coming from top and that's why it's looking like that. This is how I comb my hair. From here it's like this. Like this. So yeah, you can see the volume is there. But you see there is a density issue. So I think I need another setting of hair transplant. But we'll see after some time. So this is how it is looking from the side. Like this. Yeah. So the this is my hair condition the very next day after hair wash with shampoo and you can see that the waviness of the hair has increased and uh, I requested doctor to give me density in the front and coverage in the crown but the doctor couldn't do it he gave me coverage in the front and kind of and there were no grafts left to transplant in the crown area so you can see that I'm doing this hair style to hide the gap which I have in the front hairline because of the transplant mistake by doctor and because of this waviness and improper direction of the transplanted hair I'm facing this issue this hair from which is um, from the back side of the hair kind of is always standing here you can see even 
even after shampoo it's kind of okay but the very next day after shampoo it is becoming more wavy and more curvy and even though i try to hide the imperfection of the hair transplant which is kind of a bad front hairline with gaps it's not helping so this is the issue i'm facing this is the crown area and this is how i'm doing the hair styling and this is also one of the reason why i, I cannot partition my hair in the middle a donor area and it's kind of okay it looks okay from the outside but i know that density has increased after hair transplant so uh, there is a misconception that the waviness of the hair goes away if we cut hair little short so in my case this is the condition after haircut and you can see that is still the hair which are kind of curvy or the wavy because of the wrong direction by a doctor is still there i cannot keep hair very short kind of military cut because i don't have that much density on the top you can see that scalp is visible it's not this uh, rare it, it's because of the camera lighting it is enhancing the white more white and it is uh, showing like this but in the real time i can see that the density is kind of okay from here the, it's a bad hair transplant the hairline which doctor made i mean i would say only 60 percent of the graft survived so even after hair cut this waviness doesn't go away um it's difficult for me to have a proper hair style i have to just make my hair uh, kind of give full coverage to the top scalp and that's the only hair style i can do because of the waviness the hair is always standing or having a wave or a curve which no matter what i do uh, don't go away this is how the density is from the top portion after hair transplant it's kind of okay it's not that bad but yes even after this density it's difficult for me to do a proper hairstyle this is the donor area you can see and the density you can see it from here the unsafe zone which you see in the bottom or just behind or the below crown area is okay but the main area which is used for the hair transplant grafts is is has the density has decreased so this is the issue which i am facing after hair transplant of the extreme waviness of the hair and this side where i had less hair before hair transplant and i specifically requested doctor to give me density over here i don't know what if it is because of the bad direction or this how my hair is but previously my hair were not this wavy i know and this is the reason why i always recommend to choose a very good hair transplant clinic where the doctor is aware in which direction he has to put the hair and he is aware that what uh, hair transplant result you are looking for so whatever the doctor commits he can deliver in my case the doctor committed something else and he couldn't deliver even half of it and you know now i'm in this condition having wavy hair less density and no grafts were transplanted in the crown area so this is the issue which i wanted to bring to everybody's notice that you should be aware if you are going for hair transplant that your hair might become wavy if they are not transplanted in the proper direction this is how my hair are wavy and uh, i hope you like this video i hope somebody has got education and awareness that he should be aware of the hair waviness after hair transplant i hope you like this video thanks a lot for watching please give me a like and subscribe